Hi, Superspace here, back with another Factorio++ Plus Plus video, it's at 15, and I've done a bunch of stuff off camera, like, I've actually completed the bus, yeah, there's a lot of lanes in the bus, and, well, that time, in that time, that probably means I have got enough combat drones that hopefully I can actually, yeah, 35, that's pretty decent, and I'm gonna put this in my hotbar because I'll be using this a lot in combat, so, yeah. But the next thing, the thing I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to get cliff explosives. What I'm going to do for that is I'm going to mine this silver carbonite ore. Because I can split that into um, both sulfur and coal. Coal will actually be useful because I'm kind of low on it. And the coal vein that I have is is kind of running out, I think. I don't know, it's not running out. But you can see I have, I'm using it a lot. And there's no, I mean, there's a bunch of coal up here, but... I kind of want to go south, and there's no coal down south. There's this big oil vein down south, that could be useful. But, yeah, the byproduct from sulfur carbonate is definitely very useful. Well, yeah, what I mean byproducts is just this coal. So, yeah, so what I'm doing, I have gotten myself some electric mining drills and some sorting machines. So I can actually, you know, do stuff with, with it. The sorting machines I'll probably put over here. I'll, mine, I'll be mining this silver carbonate like this, and I really should get my car, but whatever. The the build for this will be basically the exact same as my other sorting builds. Don't have a lot of belts, so I will need to get. I will need, will need to do some supply runs, unfortunately, but at least we can get like some of the essentials of this build going. Yeah, at this it's. I think I, I don't think I'm gonna need that much sulfur, so that's why I'm only using eight rather than thirty-two. And this will definitely be plenty for for what I want. So yeah, I, I won't. I will definitely take the filter splitters. Um, I'll just do sulfur because I'm gonna want sulfur more. And I'm out of belts already. Yay. Here's the problem. I have. I'm really low on iron. And, well, you can see I'm just using it a lot, so I'm not going to be able to make that many belts. And I took all the belts here for making the bus, so this means I just, I just don't have a lot to work with currently. And for some reason I'm getting 45 UPS for no reason, which means my already slow walking speed is going to be even slower. UPS is just updates per second, and it should not be below 60 for any base that's not a mega base. So this ore vein is a very strangely shaped vein. I'm not really sure what the best, like, what the, what the best combination of like mining drills is. I'm probably gonna do it like this. Uh, you know that doesn't work. I, I can do this. This works. Um, there's just like, there's always just like the one little ore ore thing that just will get in the way, no matter how you do it. It's annoying, but I, just, I guess I just have to deal with it. I think I can do this. And... Here's a case where landfill is very important. I can just put one landfill... here, and that means I can just use this. And boom, here is what I'm just gonna do for now. This is definitely not the most efficient way to do it, but... this is what I'm going to do anyway. And this is where big electric poles will be useful. So like once I just connect these two, I can put a big electric pole, that's the medium one. I can put a big one here, and then I can connect it to all the way over to this, to, to this, these ones with just a few of big electric poles. So that's why I will be using big electric poles a lot more from now on. I don't really use medium electric poles because they're way more expensive than small ones and they're really not all that much more useful than small ones. I mean, I will use them from time to time, but I won't use it regularly. So boom, now we're actually getting sulfur. What, what, I, think I'm gonna, what I want to research now, I, I know there's something I wanted to research. Oh yeah, this. Um, so this will be sulfur. The coal will be over here. I guess I'm, I'm probably going to do it like this.
boom, I've actually built the entire sulfur and coal. So, you can see this is going to be half sulfur, half coal, and I'm not, I'm probably just going to transfer it parallel to this, and sulfur will have its own lane on the bus, because, um, I, I don't even think I have it in my other, of a sulfur lane on the bus in the other world, but, um, it was a wider bus, that's the main reason, I'm guessing. So, now I have to, well, transport it all the way, go all the way over, and that's going to be hundreds of belts. I'm definitely going to cut this part out. Okay, I've finished building this belt line, and you can see I've built a little mechanism that that sorts the coal, that gets the, puts the coal on this belt. And what I can actually do is I can put an output priority, or an input priority of right, so this means that the coal here will just join this belt, and the sulfur will, you can see the sulfur does not continue here, the coal will just be here. So you can see this is actually a very useful way to, to get some coal. And now I just need to bring the sulfur over to its own lane on the bus, which will mean, yeah, more a lot more belts will be routed. So what I actually plan to do with the sulfur is I want to put it on one of the middle lanes because I will be taking more stuff from the outer lanes and I'm not, I don't really, I don't really want sulfur in my inventory. So, because it's, it's useful for making some stuff, but it's just really useless if it's in my inventory. Some things are extremely useful in my inventory, but this is not. Okay, so finally completed this sulfur line. So now, what I want to do is make cliff explosives. But before that, this spider base is extremely close to my pollution, and if I don't monitor it, it, it will attack my base. So, what I'll do instead of, of working on the cliff explosive, that'll be next episode, I will just take out that biter base and I'll show you how powerful combat drones are. So I just need to travel there first. Okay, here it is. So I can just deploy these. These last a limited amount of time. I can only get up to five at a time for some reason, or at, at this point of the game, but you're just going to see, look how much easier getting a biter base is at this point. And I can just use fish. Um, to, there's a lot of worms in this base, so it's kind of hard, but with, with enough fish, I'll definitely be able to um, take out the space. And, yeah, you can just see how much easier that was. I think before, I would need to use just a lot of just ammo, a lot of ammo, and it would be, it would take very long, and a base of that size might overwhelm me, because there's like seven worms in it, but now it's just so much easier and there will, be, there will be upgrades in the future actually this is already one of them that will allow me to deploy more of them at a, at a time five's low but if i can get up to like 15 or 20 it'll it's a force to be reckoned with like it will destroy all bases in the mid game late game i think there's better options but mid game combat drones are the way to go at least that's how i think of it okay i'm back somewhat later and you can see, well, I have replaced these two rows of belts with pipes because I'm going to be using fluids eventually. And I guess at this point, I can just use cliff explosives. So the thing is with cliff explosives is I need explosives. And to make that, um, it's right here. I need, it's actually coal, sulfur, and water, which means if it's... Not only is it sulfur, but also coal. I could directly do this, like all the way over near the um, the sulfur carbonate. So actually, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm assuming I have, I do not have the uh, assembling machines. I'm just gonna use tier ones at this point because tier tier twos use use more electricity, and I, it's just it's just better to do tier ones. At this point, um, I'll be using tier ones a lot until I lock modules. Actually, no, I can't use tier ones because they require a liquid, and I think you need tier twos for that, unfortunately. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna split it off like this, and I will make explosives. I think this is just explosives, right? Yeah. Uh, it's not going to get me all the way to cliff explosives. I need steel for that. 
at least I, I'm gonna be able to make regular explosives. I'm just use an offshore pump here, and I can set this to explosives. Can I not set it to explosives? Oh, you need a chemical plant to make explosives, which means that I need to make this thing. And here we go. I'll, I'll, I can just do this and and then put. Actually, this is not placed well. I guess I can do this, and that'll work. And then just place a few inserters down. And I will need a few electric poles, but that's super easy. I can just drag it down from here. And now I can set this to explosives, and this will give me all the explosives I need. I can output it in a chest. Unfortunately, this is going to be the best thing I can do at this point. I mean, I could do this, or I could do a strategy where I put an assembling machine, I mean, not in there, just like right here, and then I can put a couple more chests. I know this is not fully automated. There'll be a better plan of this eventually, but this is what I can do for now. And this is where empty barrels will go. Empty barrels, I think, is not another intermediate product. It's like this. Um, and I think it's like on, for each cliff explosive, it's only one empty barrel. So I can, I'm, I'm just going to make as many empty barrels as I can. Um, just do this. And then the other thing I need is grenades, which I only have two of. I guess I'm just gonna only make a, some empty barrels and then just make some more grenades. And the barrels will go here and the grenades will go here. And ta-da, I'm actually making cliff explosives. This is gonna act this is gonna um, change it everything. And maybe while I'm waiting for myself to get more grenades and just just yeah, all, all of that. Maybe I can go attack some biters because they're kind of close to my pollution cloud. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use I'm gonna use this OP combat drones. Here we go. This space is so small that I don't, I don't even need combat drones for this. And you can see the biter evolution is only 19%, which is so low that um, okay. Why why am I not attacking the worm? Come on. It's it, it, it's so low that I don't even need to, um, or there, there's there's not medium biters that won't even exist. All of the biters and worms I've come across thus far have been small ones. Yeah, there are bigger versions. Okay, here's a base that I do need to use combat drones on, oh, and I've exceeded my five limit right there, so I just wasted one. Yes, that is something you can do. Yeah, I can see why I'm so weak. I'm using yellow bullets. I'm not even using the better red ones. But the combat drones are healthy enough that I can just take out these bases with these. Oh, look, this miner is out of mineral out of materials. Yes, that's a thing. And I, I told you it was going to start happening. It's already happening to these iron ones as well. Because there's just not, there's just not a lot of... Of resources, and it's like I, I uh, that, that's awkward. Um, yeah, that I, I told you is gonna happen pretty soon. Um, also, I think this is this still actually sorting stuff. Yeah, it is. Actually, no, it's not. I I guess I could just keep it there. And here is one last little base. I'm just gonna use. A couple. I don't. I don't even think I need the full five here. I think three will do with this space. It's just that it's that small. Yeah, I probably didn't even need three. I could probably done with one or two. And yeah, that, that's how OP the combat drones are. And I'm finally making cliff explosives, which is a huge deal because next episode I'm going to completely revamp the military science build because. The cliffs won't be in my way. Maybe I can even demonstrate how good these cliff explosives are before I end the episode. So put most of my grenades in, and you can see I do. It does take a lot to make cliff explosives, but 
I have five, and five is not going to be enough for what I'm doing here, but it's at least, at least it's a good start, and I will show you, you can see how painful it is, just navigate this section of, of the base just because the cliffs are everywhere, but now with my cliff explosive, I can even, okay, I don't really need a shortcut for them, I don't need them that much, but now, boom, I can just, I can, you can see these cliffs will not be in my way anymore. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Mm -hmm.